Greetings everyone. I was asked about using the hand graver, so I thought I'd put together a little video showing a graver operation. This is a tool rest, a graver tool rest, based on plans from W.R. Smith. W.R. Smith is a, a master clockmaker, and he's got uh, several videos and uh, plans available uh, on how to make tools for clock making and how to make clocks. You can see that it's got a a cam action and it's cut so that it has the 55 degree taper for the cross for the uh, lathe bed, Sherline lathe bed and it's adjustable up and down This is a, a graver made out of a, a lathe tool. It's a, a small lathe tool, 3 sixteenths of an inch. And this is just a piece of wooden dowel. And uh, they're made also according to instructions in W.R. Smith's book on clock making. And let me just show you an operation here. If you wanted, for instance, to put a a point on the end of a piece of steel. This is a piece of eighth inch drill rod and it's very hard. It could even be hardened and this graver would still cut it. Let me show you the operation. You can see how nicely it's cutting. And it's not a scraping cut, it's actually cutting a nice curly chip. And this is the way you make clock pivots. It's also very handy for making all kinds of other small axles and handles. That's the way I made the handles for this graver. Uh, graver rest. If you want to sharpen the gravers, you can use a diamond lap, and I made this little uh, tool holder to hold the graver at the correct angle. It's got a roller on the bottom, and you just put it on here and pull it across. Now I just use this to rough it in. And then I do the rest of the work by hand, and the last little bit is done on a piece of Arkansas stone. And it's lapped. You put a little bit of oil on there and, and uh, lap it that way. And you need to get a very, very sharp edge on the graver in order to make it cut properly. That's a hand graver and W.R. Smith tool rest for the Sherline lathe.